everyone and welcome back to Emkin Gardening. Today we're going to be putting together some tropical container combinations. Last year in this spot we had our monochromatic containers and we did purple and this year we wanted more of a tropical theme so here's what we chose. We are using the same pots as last year. We have amended the soil that was in there previously with some biotone, and we have added some new soil on top. So everything is ready to go. When we plant these, we will be scooping some more biotone into each of the holes that we plant just for extra fertilization. So with these containers, we are following a thriller, filler, spiller method. And we're kind of going with the same reds, yellows, and oranges. So let's take a closer look on what plants we chose. For our thriller in these containers, we chose Toucan Canna Scarlets. These are beautifully tropical annuals. They get four feet tall, so it is going to be a showstopper of a thriller. And their blooms really do reflect the type of flowers you would see on a tropical island. Beautiful, bright red are the blooms of the Scarlet Toucans. So this is going to be in the middle. These will like full to part sun, which is great because this is a full sun location mostly during the day. And then when it starts getting into the afternoon, the garage actually shades it a little bit, so it does turn into more of a part sun location. So that's perfect for the Toucan Canna Scarlet. These are also heat tolerant, which will be very beneficial in the dead of the summer. And we're really excited for these amazing blooms. You don't have to deadhead them. They will just continuously bloom throughout the season. So this is our thriller. It will be going directly in the middle and we're going to do one in each container. Up next is our fillers. So we have two coleuses from the Color Blaze series from Proven Winners. We absolutely love coleus. They offer such amazing foliage coloration and different textures and styles. We use coleus often in our garden when we're working in shady areas, but these can actually do full sun or full shade, which make them incredibly versatile. So the strawberry drop is our first one, and this one has a very flower-like foliage, except for there is variegation of like a dark purple and a pink strawberry color in the middle. So on the other side is going to be, from Color Blaze, Mini Me Watermelon. So this has a very different style foliage. It looks less like flower foliage and more sharp. It has very interesting angles and no leaf is the same, which I appreciate. But it has all of the watermelon colors with that green and striped rind are along the outside and on the inside is very much a pink to red color. So these ones both are full sun to full shade, very versatile, and they're going to get up to 20 inches. So they're going to fill in the back here of our container. For our spillers in this arrangement, we have two calibrecoas. One is from Proven Winners. It is a hybrid. This is double amber. This one's going to get 12 inches as it trails over. It's absolutely beautiful. It has this really kind of auburn amber color and it's a double. So it looks like mini roses, like a little mini yellow orange rose. It's absolutely beautiful. Calibrecoas are really great in containers. They are very drought tolerant and they do well in smaller spaces. So this trailing over the side is going to be fantastic. Paired alongside another Calipricoa. This is not from Proven Winners. This is Cali Star Orange. So this one is really nice. It's going to tie in all of the oranges and reds from the canna to the coleus. But this one has very orange blooms with yellow stripes 
kind of in between each ruffle. It's really, really pretty. This one's only going to be trailing down to eight inches and it's going to be on the other side of the pot. So my idea is to have them right here so that they can trail down the sides. They would like full sun, but the double amber can do part sun, which is great. So maybe I might swap that and do boom, boom, so that this star orange will get more sun. So those are our spillers. And then we have one more that's going to kind of play tag team. The last flower that's going to be in our container is Peachy Keen Superbena. We absolutely love Superbanas. We just did a whole video on it. Peachy Keen is one of our favorites because of the ombre effect that their blooms take on. It can go from light to dark, light pink to a more of a hot pink, orange, coral, peach, apricot. It kind of does the whole thing. But these are both mounding and trailing so that they can be a filler and a spiller. So my idea is going to be putting them right in the middle as kind of the step down from the cannas. Again, heat tolerant, drought tolerant, these ones are going to go down to a foot, just re-blooming until fall. I think this basket is going to be incredibly colorful. And I think, especially in the summertime, it's really going to scream tropical island, which I am ready for. So when we plant, we're going to have our little holes. We're going to put Biotone Starter Fertilizer in it, cover them up, and then they will be all set to go. All right, let's plant up our tropical containers. Thank you.